Let's when we was down, now we up. Uh, Thank God that I never gave, never up. gave up. Every day is payday, we go nuts. Hey. I gotta trust in my gut. Yeah. Cause we cannot live out of fear. No. This for the smiles and the tears, yeah. I bought the winning team here, yeah. Money gon' double this year, yeah. Young. Yeah. Uh, right now. I guess I'm blowing up right now. I never gave up, no, no, no. So I'm going up. What's up guys ah, how are you guys doing today guys title and thumbnail in from last vlog like I said guys we're gonna talk about some more pros and cons but this time instead of the two strokes we're gonna talk about them big old four strokes <clears throat> you feel me guys so if you haven't checked out last video when I talked about the pros and cons of two strokes definitely go check that out I dropped a lot of information guys about pros and cons like I said guys I only talk about what what I know, what I've been through. So, same rule applies for the four strokes. Guys, I had a four stroke before. Um, I'm friends with a lot of guys who have four strokes and I hear their stories and stuff like that. Guys, so I'm only going to drop the info that I know. If you guys know any more pros and or cons of four strokes, drop them down below to let me know. You know what I mean? Because I don't know everything. Let me know what else you guys have been through with pros and cons of the four strokes. Without further ado, guys, let's get into the mother freaking video. Pro number one of having a four stroke. A lot of the reason this is one of the reasons a lot of people get four strokes, guys. You just gas and go. There's no two stroke. There's no, there's no mixer. There's no nothing. You fill it up, you're good. That's it. That's it. To be honest with y'all, I'm quite jealous of that. When I had, when I did have my 250 four stroke, it was one of the best things ever. Guys, no more mixing, no none of that. Guys, um, personally, I never liked to Philly mix on my two strokes. I do it now because I'm better at mixing, but back then I never liked to Philly mix. You know what I mean? I never liked to mix my two stroke at the gas pump. And then, you know what I mean? It just risks running too much or not enough. Ah, so I always carried gas with me in my book bag. Yes, guys, I used to carry gas in my book bag in like a little cooling container. That's not the point. You feel me? So, guys, since I was so used to that, I would still do that when I had my four-stroke because I'm like, I don't want to be at the pump. The cop pull up and something happened. I'm, middle, I'm in the middle of what's the name? Then, you know what I mean? So, I could just gas on the go. Or if it's too many people and I don't get a chance to get to the pump, I could just open my book bag. You feel me? But, guys, I started to see. I'm like, yo, I just got to fill it up with gas. That's it. No more mixing. No, none of that. You feel me? Gas and go. So, I'm like... This is lit. So, having not having a book bag on when I'm riding, it felt completely different. I felt a little bit more free, guys, but it did feel completely different. I'm just like, yo, this is lit. So, gas and go of the four stroke. It's one of the best things about a four stroke. No mixing. You know what I mean? It is what it is. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. The two stroke team will take that L that we got to mix. It is what it is. I'd rather mix my gas anyway. It's cool. Pro number two of having a four-stroke. Guys, it's less maintenance, guys. I see four-stroke guys rebuild their bike probably like once every decade. I swear. I swear. My my, my man Lazar, who has his WR250 four-stroke, guys, I, I don't even think he changed the spark plug on that bike. He had the bike for a couple years. I don't even think he changed the spark plug on that bike yet. And if he did, it's, he probably only did it once. And it was just because. It's like, because he likes to switch his bike up a lot. So he had everything off the bike. He like, eh, since I'm here, I might as well. It's probably one of those situations. He probably didn't even have to change the spark plug if he did change it. So I'm like, you get a four-stroke, especially brand new guys, you don't got to do nothing but change the oil. I swear. I swear. I swear. And I do nothing but change the oil. Especially if you get it brand new. Nothing but change the oil. There is barely, there is little to no maintenance to those bikes at all. Oil and gas. That's it. That's all you gotta do to a four-stroke, guys. And again, I'm I'm quite jealous. Quite jealous. Am I gonna get a four-stroke? Maybe. <laughs> Just to fuck around, good, guys. But I would never switch on a two-stroke gang. You feel me? Two T for life. Two-stroke gang for life, guys. But that is another big, big, big pro of a four stroke let's get into the third one four stroke guys is very very beginner friendly you feel me 
that's one of the best things. They're for beginners and experts. You know what I mean? So like my last video, I said the two strokes are not beginner friendly. They're not. The four strokes, they are. You feel me? Nine times out of ten, you want to put somebody on a four stroke. Not, not no big ass four stroke. Not no 250. Not no 450. Maybe a 150, you know what I mean? Maybe like the little pit bikes, the TTRs, 125 Jones. <clears throat> you feel me? Those, those are good starter bikes for people. Four, small four strokes, guys, they're amazing bikes. Even like the Groms, guys. I taught my girlfriend how to ride a Grom. Yes, Yoli has rode the Grom. If you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. Yoli rides the Grom and she mastered it. You feel me? She did ride my, all of my other bikes. She rode my first 125, she rode my 250. Uh, she wrote my 85, guys. She actually tried to pop a wheelie on me with the first 125, I believe. And this one, I didn't know how to wheelie, so I was scared out my ass. But, guys, the four strokes are super beginner-friendly, guys. People accelerate quicker when they learn how to how to ride on a four stroke. They accelerate so much quicker than when you throw on something that has so much power and a power band and that, that they are not familiar with. On a four stroke... The power is consistent, regardless if it's in low RPMs or high RPMs. It just gets faster. There's no extreme amount of torque the higher you get in RPMs. No, it's it's like having a turbo and... Now, damn, what's the other one? Supercharger. <laughs> I couldn't get the weird out. It's like having a turbo and a supercharger, guys. If you guys are familiar with cars, turbos, you got to build it up till it spools and you get all this power. Supercharger is like, no matter if it's low RPMs or high RPMs, the power is always there. You feel me? So once they get used to the power, guys, I'm telling you, if you're learning how to ride a dirt bike, start on a four stroke. Don't start on anything higher than a 150. You feel me? The TTR 125s, guys, those small four strokes, a lot of people sleep on those, but those small four strokes are like some of the best bikes ever. I promise you. Get one, let me know how it is. Pro number four, guys. The four strokes are easier to willy. They're not only easier to learn how to ride on, they are easier to willy. This is why a lot of people start to willy with their four strokes. You might hear in every how to willy video that there is to start on a four stroke. You know what I mean? If you want to take this, the simple, smarter, easier way to get your fundamentals up higher, start on the four stroke. If you want to be hard headed like me and want to be as nice as you can, as fast as you can, start on the two stroke. That's what I did. But guys, to learn how to wheelie is so much easier on the four stroke. Guys, it's like once you get it up, boom, 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 and you get it up, you can literally just, uh, and just hold it there and ride that wheelie out. If you get to the right spot, it won't be speed willy and it won't be anything. You will just hold that willy there. Let's say if you're going 15 miles an hour, you will hold that willy just like this at 15 miles an hour. Uh, you feel me? And it's it's just so much simpler to willy a four stroke. And that's one of the things a lot of people on bike life love about those. They're so much easier. You get your fundamentals up extremely fast, not only with learning how to ride them, but learning how to willy them. Guys. I still recommend, if you're learning how to wheelie, don't start on anything bigger than a 150. You know what I mean? Nothing bigger than 150. 150 is the max. Honda, CBR 150, R's, RB's, whatever. Don't start on nothing higher than that if you're learning how to wheelie. The TTR 125's, those little small pit bikes, those are great bikes to learn how to wheelie on. Especially the 150's, guys. Trust me. Now let's get into the cons of the four strokes. Con number one, guys. Those bikes are heavy as shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Those bikes are heavy as hell. Heavy as hell, guys. And God forbid you drop one of them. Those bikes are a, bit, a bitch to pick back up. Those bikes are heavy as shit. The engine is like this big. And the bike's like that big. But engine is like this big on those four strokes, guys. They're big, they're heavy. It just, yeah, it's a heavy bike to throw up. You know what I mean? It has the power to get it up easy, but guys, that's a big, heavy bike. You feel me? It's a big, heavy bike. And God forbid you got to pop start one of those, Jones. You got to bump start it. Oh, my God. 
Those bikes are heavy as shit. Con number two, guys. Those bikes are more expensive and more difficult to rebuild. Guys, if you gotta rebuild a two-stroke, you might as well throw the whole bike away and get you a new one. I'm so serious, guys. The amount of money you gotta put into, if you, especially if you don't know how to do it yourself, oh my god. But let's say if you still know how to do it yourself, and buying parts for, oh my god, buying parts for it, oh my god. Then taking everything apart, remember on back where it goes, then you gotta do timing, then get your cams right, and you vibe, oh my god. Four strokes to rebuild. Some of y'all might be like, it's not that hard, it's a little longer, but it's not that hard, no. Fuck what y'all talking about. A four stroke is hard as shit to rebuild. Guys, it's probably simple, but it's just so much stuff you got to do. Timing, camshaft, valves, jeez louise. And that's just to take the top of the, uh, the engine off, the cylinder. Oh my God, there's so much you got to do with a four-stroke, guys. And those parts are so expensive. So expensive, I swear. So expensive. If you got to rebuild it. Oh my God. Once you rebuild it, be honest with y'all, that will probably be the last time you rebuild it for a while. But to go through that, oh my God, it's like the worst thing ever, I swear. Con number three, guys. Bigger bike, heavier bike, I mean a bigger budget, guys. Four strokes are typically more expensive than two strokes. You feel me? Probably not dramatically expensive, like probably like $1,000, $2,000 more. But that extra $1,000, $2,000, you could put into something different if you get a two stroke. You know what I'm saying? Upgrades, a graphic kit, whatever you want to do, some street tires. Or some new tires, whatever you want to do, uh, exhaust, whatever you want to do to your two-stroke. That extra thousand, two thousand dollars, go to that. But guys, a four-stroke, like a four-stroke two fifty, and then like a two-stroke two fifty. Extra thousand, extra thousand or two thousand dollars for a headache you gotta rebuild and so much parts, guys. It's doing too much. Like I said, in in some places, it might not be that much more expensive, guys, but I know here it's probably like $1,000, $2,000 more. That might not be a problem for a lot of you guys. It might be a problem for a lot of you guys. Who knows? But, guys, I like to save money. <laughs> you feel me? So, I'm going to get a two-stroke. But just because it is more don't mean that it's like, it's, oh, it's, it's too much more money. I'm not going to get it. No, guys, if you like it, get it. It's just, that's one of the... To me, that's one of the bad things about it is you got to, it's more money. That's, that's all it is. I like to be as cheap as possible. And guys, con number four. I think I mentioned this in the last one, but the tune game, like the way the four stroke sounds, it's, it's less appealing to me. You feel me? It's this. And then if you rev real fast, like, it's, it's just, ah, it's just extra, you feel me? And trying to tune a four-stroke, guys, don't get me wrong, the tune sounds amazing on a four-stroke. It's a hard skill to master doing it on a four-stroke, but guys, doing it on a four-stroke just doesn't sound, you, you can barely hear it, it doesn't sound as impressive to me. Ah, it's just, it just, ah, it has nothing over the two-stroke tune. I'm telling you, like I said, guys, don't get me wrong. The tune on a four-stroke takes tremendous skill, and since it's so much harder to do, if you can do it, it is, like, yo, he, he's a, he's good. He's good at what he does, guys. But just to me, it doesn't sound nearly as nice or nearly, or sounds nearly as cool as doing it on a two-stroke. It just, it just sounds weird to me. You feel I me? Mean? It, ah. Especially when when your four stroke, the um, your exhaust is like stock. I'm telling you guys, it just me personally. Like I said, all of this stuff is what I've experienced, is what I think. These are my opinions, guys, and it just doesn't sound as nice to me as a two stroke, guys. But guys, that concludes this video. <clears throat> drop a like, smash that subscribe button, drop some comment section. Drop some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Share the video with your friends, family, your grandma, your auntie, your uncles, and everybody else that you know, guys. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know the pros and cons you think four strokes have. You feel me? Also, let me know if you team two stroke or team four stroke. 
Guys, I'm going to cut up on any bike. But I personally like the two strokes. But I'm going to cut up on any bike. You feel me? So, guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of each bike. Pros and cons of a two stroke were in the last video. Pros and cons of a four stroke were in this video. Let me know in the comment section, guys. But without further ado, you guys do what you do best. Like, comment, share, subscribe, guys, and enjoy the rest of your, your day or night, whenever I post this, guys. But have a good rest of your day. I guess I'm blowing up right now. I never gave up, no, no, yeah. So I'm going up right now.